Hi, it's Debbie. I'm going to try this mask. This is from Kimmy, and it's a deep, clean, purifying mask, but it's a peel-off mask, and I just opened it, and it is like very blue and sticky, so I'm thinking I better put this on in the bathroom, or I will make a mess. Plus, my little thing my bob to put it on with, the top came off, so I don't know if that's going to work. But I think I'll put it on in the bathroom, and I will be back. Okay, I am back. This is Debbie, and I have my beautiful blue mask on. And I'm not a fan of this. I'm, I don't know if I can turn it over. I will, but hopefully it won't drip out. But this is what I've got on. I prefer the sheet mask, and I'd rather be a panda any day. But um, anyway, this actually does work good for getting the goop out of Whoop, it's dripping now. Getting the goop out of there. So you might wanna if you if you use this kind, you might want one of these, one that's not broken and now that's all wet. But anyway. So I have brought a washcloth in here, wet washcloth and a towel, because I might have to wipe something. And I think I'm not supposed to put it on my eyebrows, but maybe I won't have eyebrows tomorrow. And I don't know if I put my glasses on to see. Probably not, Deb. I know I can't see. I can use this to wash them. So anyway, um, I prefer the sheet masks any day over this. But we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't pull my skin off my face. Okay, I probably still can't see out of those. But I'll put it on there. Maybe it fits on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I can read the package. Yeah, it says deep clean purifying peel off mask by Neutrogena so that's a really good one peels away skin impurities and unclogs pores to reveal soft healthy looking skin well that sounds good and it is pretty color it's kind of like a teal my hair is going to get stuck to it oh yeah it's very sticky so I have this wet washcloth and let's see what I did wrong because I didn't read the instructions here Oh, set the timer. Let's see, let's see how... Uh, about 20 minutes or until dry. Well, I'm, I'm going to say I've had it on for about 5 minutes, so I'll do 15 and see what happens. And I've got the handy dandy fan from Kim. Ah, oh, well that's good. And that helps it dry. It says you clean your face. Okay, I did that. Apply an even layer to clean skin, avoiding eye area. Yeah, I think I did. Eyebrows. <laughs> Fail. And hairline. I think I got a little bit in the hair, but I'm going in the bath, so I'm not worried. It's going to soak off. And then it says leave on for about 20 minutes or until dry. Mask will be become clear as it dries. Oh, so it won't be green. Okay, and I hear Pippa. Oh, she wants her food. It's too early, Pippa. <laughs> and gently peel off mask from the outer edges. New rinse off required. Use two times a week. Well, I'm only using it once, and I probably won't use it again because I don't like this kind. Okay. So what I had today, I couldn't find any questions. I went on, I went on the um, Kimmy site because I was looking to see if she had questions, and then I saw, um, as Kimmy's Kimmy's boxes, I saw she had tagged me in a challenge for um, three item makeup minimalist makeup challenge, and I basically don't use a whole lot, but. One thing I do use is I use, um, oh my God, I brought it all in here. I use, oh, this really feels good. I use this, um, what do you call it? Moisture. <laughs> Tinted moisturizer, but I mix two together and then I mix it with the oil of Olay. So that's three products right there, but it's really one because I also since this has been discontinued and I can't get it anymore, I've been looking for an alternative. And I found this by CoverGirl. 
and it says plus ole. So they, they put ole and you can see there's like brown and white in there. So that I would consider this as one item because it is the problem with this is there's two different colors that I mix together to make the color that I want and then I put the oil of Olay. So this is one product. So I'm going to count this as one product that I use. But I, of course I can't put it on now because I got this mask on. And then the other thing I would need to use is mascara, which I use this one, which is all worn off lash discovery. I think we determined it was by Maybelline and I wasn't able to find it again. But I would use that and then of course with that I have to use the q-tip because I always get it all around my eyes so that's what I would use and then I would use my baby lips and the only thing I wouldn't be using that I normally use since I could only use three items would be the blush which <laughs> is very sad my makeup is very sad this is this is what's left of my blush from Dollar Tree and I'm, I'm hoping I can find that color again because that's the only one I haven't had to mix with uh, powder to make the right color because I don't want it too dark and I don't want it kind of brown I like it kind of pink so anyway they used my that and then on certain nights when I go out I like to use a white eyeliner pencil on the inner part of my eye and then right here. I think I saw that uh, in a show. Oh, I used to watch it all the time. Carmen D was the name of the makeup gal. Uh, what not to wear. Yeah, and, she, and the Carmen D, she always was saying, put that in the corners of your eyes, white. But unfortunately, this last one I got is a little bit more shimmery than just white. So I don't know if I really like that. I don't know what flavor. What brand it is? Oh, it's the glasses. Let's see. Maybelline Lasting Drama, and this one's. Oh, I don't know what color. Oh, see, it says White Luster, and I think the one I bought before is just plain old white. And then I use sometimes I have permanent liner on. I don't know you can see in my eyes, but I have permanent liner, so I usually, if it's nighttime, I'm going to add a little liner. I use this blue one. I don't know if you can see it. I just add a blue. I have like a black one, but I seem to mess up more. The black is more noticeable when I mess up. I don't know. That could be blue, too. <laughs> but I just put a little flip, flip, and call it a day. And that's all I do. I don't use... I used to use a curler, a uh, lash curler. I don't use that anymore because I was ending up pulling out all my lashes. And I don't use eyeshadow. I don't have any eyeshadow. I probably would try some if I get some. I look, I had some that was like the three color trying to make a smoky eye. Not very good at that. But I used it when I was on the cruise. I played around a little more with makeup. And that's all about that. So that's a challenge. And I'll, I could try it tomorrow, maybe. I'll try it. And then I was going to show you what I got today. As we went to Walmart, the Walmart market, and I finally got a nice water bottle with the flip like that. And it's all aluminum. Aluminum. And got a nice straw. And this is, uh, I think, 14 ounces, but I like this tie dye one. And then my husband got one with the fish on it. But these were $4.98 at the Walmart. I haven't gone to Dollar Tree. We never get to go there, so we go to the grocery store. So I was like, mm, maybe I can find some. And then I got something I was going to do a taste test on. And this, hold on, I need a little drinky poo. Mm, I don't have the air. This is Kit Kat, and I saw a green package. It's like, ooh, what flavor is that? It's lime, key lime pie. The one I'm looking for. I saw on Donna Unboxes and it was called birthday cake flavor. So that's the one I'm looking for, but I haven't found it. So I was going to do a taste test with this right now. Let me see if my lips are clear. Yeah. I don't want it to taste like a mask. Oh, and my husband had put this in the fridge for me. Okay, it's very beautiful and green. Mm. I approve. 
I normally don't like to try different flavors of things that I like because a Kit Kat is a Kit Kat and it's good and there's, you shouldn't even ruin it. But I like lemon things really much. Really much? A whole lot. I really like it. Really much? But yeah, I really like it. But this is lime. It's not real strong. Got a Kit Kat crunch. Will I get this again? Probably not. I like regular Kit Kat. I don't eat a lot of Kit Kats, but yeah, it's a little sweeter than a Kit Kat, so, but it was good. Well, anyway, that's that. And let's see what else. I wanted to do a little shout out because I watch a lot of videos and I'm in some challenges and um, my organization is very bad. I don't know. You can see I was, I was getting better. I have things written down in this notebook, and then I started using a calendar, and as you can see, one month I was really good at keeping track of challenges I was in, videos I made, and that's February, and you look at March, I started out okay, and then I kind of lagged off on that, I like put the information about challenges, when the drawings were, and then you get to April. And it's getting even sadder as so I'm forgetting to write stuff down. So I started, I got this little book at Dollar Tree. And I was like, oh, I'll just put everything in this book. Well, that's not working very good. I have a few drawings here. I think these are old ones. And then I have another little notebook here where I have drawings written down. And then I have, I have different things I was writing down the channels as I was reading comments and marking them down to. So I do that. I do that in little pieces of paper <laughs> in the little books that I make. And I am missing, I'm finding out I'm missing the challenges. If I enter a giveaway, I'm missing them. And then I also write down challenges I want to do. And then I'll get, get out there their card this has been working better I actually if I'm gonna do a challenge I get out the person's card for their channel and I leave it out by my craft table and so far so good that's working a little bit because I keep forgetting things but anyway these were challenges I mailed out I just wrote them in here these are there's a list of shows I watch I binge watch and right now I'm currently watching Married at First Sight. I love that show. And uh, and I just finished watching Versailles. That was an awesome show. I got all those episodes watched. I like Netflix where they have, you can watch the whole season. That's my favorite way. So I like to watch from beginning to the end and I don't want to have to wait a season or like, like this time with uh, Survivor. They didn't have it because of COVID and so now I'm waiting and waiting and you can't see but at least that one's separate every time but for a regular series, I don't like to wait. I like to see it all. And that's why I like Netflix. Like when they have a series, they put the whole season out so you can watch the whole season on one or two nights. So more more like two nights, that's a little long. But anyway, I was gonna do a shout out of two. Oh, I have a paper. <laughs> and then I write things on little pieces of paper. <laughs> These are probably ones that are done. Okay, one is for Queen Bee Andrea, everybody knows her, I'm sure, that watches me, but she's doing her Road to 500 subbies, and she is also doing a Barbie giveaway. There are two separate things, but she's really awesome, and she, she, I haven't seen her do a whole lot of crafts lately. She does a lot of hauls, and she does the opening of her, shows you what's in her purse and her backpacks. I better get this fan going, or I will never drive. And, uh, she does clothes hauls and that so that's she's a really sweet little gal and I like her and uh, I entered one of her challenges before too but anyway she's having a challenge and I will put links so I'm gonna leave this out to remind me to put a link but I will put a link to her thing and I believe it's still going on I know she's over her 500 so and the Barbie giver giveaway if you like Barbie a lot of people do I'm not really into Barbie, but I like to see what she gets because she gets some pretty things with Barbie. So, anyway, I'll put a link to that one below. 
And let's see, where's the other paper I have? It's all wet because I just laid it on my wet washcloth. This one was for Annie. Annie Creates. Now she's awesome. She's another Florida gal. And she lives uh, not too far from here. But she has a drawing. Uh, it's started on April 12th and it goes to June 12th. And it's the Huggable, Huggable drawing. That's what I wrote. <laughs> Huggable ATC. You need to send her, uh, be a subscriber, and you have to send her an ATC. She's collecting them in a book and putting them by birthdays. So you definitely have to have your birthday on the back and all your regular information like your, your channel name and what you like and email, whatever, your Instagram, all that stuff on there. And then she would also like a VR. So that's why I wrote it on here. See, I put a little checkbox in my sloppy, sloppy writing what, what was required. And her drawing is going to be on June 17th. So see, that's something I need to put on my little thing. But like I said, I get so scattered. I just don't remember. I, I start thinking I'll do it, and I don't do it. So I got other stuff on here. Things like when I'm watching a video, okay, on the back of here, somebody has a husband named Ross. I don't know who. Maybe it's Deborah, because there's Deborah. <laughs> and she has a cat named Tomasito. But see, I write that stuff down to put on my little cards. And I did, apparently I didn't want to go get my card, so I just wrote it on this paper thinking, oh, I'll remember that. And then here for Zoila. I think someone was reading reading her um, ATC card or something that she sent in, and uh, when they read it, I write down that stuff in case I don't have it. And it says her, she doesn't have a favorite color. She uh, likes comic books, cars, music, and cooking, and then tennis and baseball. I think she used to play tennis and baseball. It's not a very good system, Deb. And then. Was in the mil military and traveled the world. And I, I'm assuming that is going to be hers, but it could be Deborah's. I don't know. I don't remember. It's terrible. And, and there's Pippa again. And then, okay, so I'm going off of that. But anyway, I will put Annie's information down below as well. And the timer is off. And let me turn that off because I know I'm not dry yet. And I'm going to just end this because this is a big hot mess. <laughs> and then I wanted to uh, do a, a VR for this gal, this Southern Shell. Her name is Michelle. And she is having a challenge. And I actually have hers out there. And she is wanting an, a Memdex card because she has a little uh, old Rolodex type thing. And she wants to collect her Memdexes in there. And her challenge ends on May 15th. It's the birthday challenge. Her birthday, I can't remember when her birthday was. I think her birthday was actually in March, but I'm not sure. But she did she did add her address into her last um, video, like an update video, so that because she said people were um, emailing her and she wasn't getting the she wasn't getting them, so she couldn't give them the address. So she, she extended her, her challenge till May 15th. So I'm going to get that out to her. And uh, let's see, did I skip? I skipped somebody. I did. I'm going to have to add it to some, something else. I know Alvina. Because <laughs> I know I have her stuff sitting out there. Okay, let me find Alvina. <laughs> She's Latin girl 34. That sound right? <laughs> yes, Latin girl 34, I believe. Alvina, she's having a birthday challenge. Yeah, I sh yeah, here it is. Okay, and what is she's wanting? Her birthday was uh, May 5th, so it's, it hasn't happened. It's uh, Cinco de Mayo, and. Uh, she want would like an, um, hers has point system, and a VR gives you one point. Uh, a Memdex card, which is what I think I made, yeah, that's what I'm getting her. Memdex cards one point. Uh, 
a pocket letter would be two points, an embellishment box would be three points. And she likes HP. HP. Harry Potter. <laughs> I was thinking the computer. <laughs> That's a weird thing. Okay. And then she likes Disney and she likes coffee and she likes sweets. So that's what I have. And her name is Al Alvina there. So I will link her below too. And I'm thinking there was one other gal, Candy. So, uh, sweet. And, uh, oh, and I know I, I lost track of her because her channel name starts with the, and in my list of alphabetical orders, I kept looking for Candy Girl, but she's the Candy Girl. The Candy, K-A-N-D-E-E-G-U-R-L, Candy Girl, and she's having a drawing on May 6th, so it's kind of getting late for that. I don't remember what she wanted, but I sent her, um, she likes sweet things, um, she's, real, she's a real sweet gal too, and she lo loves her purses, but um, she, she wanted some sweet themed, sweet themed item. And I had made a sweet themed uh, Memdex card. And as soon as I heard about her channel, I was like, oh, I got the perfect card. So I sent that to her. And I think I sent her a little card too. I don't remember. Like I said, I can't remember. I send things out. I forget what I sent until they sh I see it on their channel. It's like, oh, that's where it is. So anyway, and her, I have her birthday written as 5-5. Five five. Does she have the same birthday or did I write that on? I don't know. So oh, anyway, Candy Girl, I will put a link to her below as well. And I don't care if this counts as a VR or not. I'm not into getting so many points. I just like to, I just like to get it, help uh, people get their their name out there if they want to grow their channels. And I also like to send them things that they're asking for if I can. So she wanted a sweet treat sweet themed tr um, craft, so that's why I did it. And like the other gal wanted a Memdex, um, uh, not Albina, the other one, Michelle. Uh, no, I can't remember. It's not Michelle, it's not her screen name. Something Southern Shell, Southern, <laughs> I'm butchering, butchering the names. Southern Sweet, Southern Shell. There's another Southern gal that I started watching and I think I'm getting them mixed up. I need to just get this all in one place and stop doing my craziness. I don't know. And then in here I also got a list of Mask Monday ladies. It's just all over the place, just like me. So anyway, this is nine years long, so I will end it and I will I will turn it off and I'll, I'll oh, that's, yeah, I don't like this mask. I will not do this kind of mask again. Sorry. But I, it's it's like all tacky on this side. It's dry here, dry here, dry here. It's going to probably rip my eyebrows off, but it's not going to dry. So I, I'm going to end this video now, and I'll hopefully maybe we see you next week for Mask Monday. And uh, I'll probably do something during the week. So have a good day.